Pas de Nam was one of Henrik de Fiatkowski's earliest thoroughbred acquisitions. He purchased the coat at the 1977 Saratoga yearling sale for $350,000. He was named Danzig after the city now known as Gdansk in his owner's native Poland. Trainer Woody Stevens, aware he had a two-year-old of exceptional promise, sent Danzig out for his first start in a five and a half furlong maiden race with jockey Joseph Brocklebank aboard. Sagacious racing second. There goes Inland Voyager on the inside, getting the second position now. Sagacious is back to third. Then African Waters racing in fourth position by two. Then Ice Speed Up racing fifth. Comical Turn is in seventh position now, followed by Spruce It Up and a gap of a length and a quarter to a Chromion. Around the far turn they go. Danzig shows the way by two lengths. Inland Voyager is racing second now. African Waters moving up a bit third, gap of five to Sagacious fourth, with Ice Speed up in fifth position, Comical Turn sixth, Acromion and Spruce it up past the quarter pole and into the stretch they come. Danzig draws away to lead by two lengths now. African Waters starts to gain ground second. The authoritative victory, third, only three-fifths of a second off the track fourth, record, left many New York horsemen and riders feeling Danzig that they had just seen the two-year-old champion. A problem with bone chips in his knee, however, prevented Danzig from racing again that year. Nonetheless, while Rock Hill native won the Eclipse Award, many Belmont Park regulars insisted Danzig still was the best-looking juvenile that year. His eagerly awaited return the following year came in an allowance event at Aqueduct on May 14th. Solo Star Breaker and Rudeval Evil down the back stretch. Danzig along the inside, Dover Prince on the outside, those two vying for the lead, and Danzig once again takes the lead by a neck. Dover Prince on the outside, second by four, then Son of Solo is followed by Poplar Ridge, Happy Cannibal, Root of All Evil on the outside, then Starbreaker into the far turn. First quarter, 22 even, Danzig has the lead on the rail by a length. Dover Prince on the outside, second by two and a half, Son of Solo is gaining some ground in third by three. Then Poplar Ridge, Root of All Evil on the inside, Happy Cannibal and Starbreaker at the top of the stretch. Danzig continues to lead by a length. Son of Solo on the outside, now second. Dover Prince back into third, the half and 45 Victory and three down the Victory came just as easily. Danzig the margin seven and one half lengths and the time only four ticks off the six furlong track record. A truly impressive comeback. But his powerful stride, a hard driving action, would again cause a problem with bone chips and prematurely end his career. His final start was to come in a seven for long allowance on May 31st at Belmont. On the far outside, Danzig on the inside, and Danzig now takes the lead going off by a full length. Preferred list in second by a length and a half, Duffy's ruler in third, then Jihad, Cachet on the rail, impressive Prince and silent bid down the back stretch. Danzig leads by a length, preferred list second by a length and a half. Cachet on the rail, third by a length. Jihad on the outside, fourth by a half length. An impressive Prince, silent bit, and Duffy's ruler. Continuing down the back stretch, the first quarter, 23 even. Danzig has the lead by a length and a half. Preferred list, second by a length and a half. Jihad in third by four. Impressive Prince, fourth by a length. Cachet dropping back, then silent bit, and Duffy's ruler around the far turn. Now preferred list on the rail is moving on Danzig, but Danzig continues to lead by a half length. Preferred list on the rail, second by a neck. Jihad on the outside moving up in third. Those three now bunching at the top of the stretch. Northern Dancer has been a remarkable stallion, but if there's been a void in his spectacular record, it's a great sun on the preferred American surface of dirt. His only Kentucky Derby starter was the Canadian champion, Jubilee. His top money winner on the main tracks of North America has been Dixieland Band. Those lucky enough to witness Danzig's short live career on the track feel certain the colt would have been Northern Dancer's first son to earn an eclipse. Danzig's success at stud seems to support that view.